I told you last week that Bitcoin was not behaving well and we have a high probability of a sell-off. Why? Because the tools, the tools, the tools, the tools. Look at last week's and the past two weeks uh, uh, stream and you're like, holy shit, he said it. Okay. So, and, and, and yeah, I mean, you'll be, you'll be, holy shit. Yeah. So, we still have 70% chance of a retracement and a sell-off on, on the cryptos, but we are approaching a very important support here on the edge. Remember, the calculator edge on the box trading. This is a very important level. This is a very important level. This is a very important level. And that's the level of all level, 100% chance. And this is the level of all level. So our level here for Bitcoin is 58.5. 58.5 for Bitcoin is a very key important area. And the next level is like roughly 50.5. So we are going to call it roughly 55, right? Average, let's say between 50 and 58, it's 55, let's say, okay, 55. The idea is we go to this 55 average and then we rebound very strongly at one point within the next six months to the 81,000 target. But if that 50 edge is taken, the cycle is over. If that 50.5 is taken, the cycle is over. Or at the very least, a lot of pain will come on the structure line here on your trend line. And this is a retracement all the way back to where we were <laughs> at 40,000 on the previous retracement, right there. I'm going to go with the camp, and it's shown here by the institution on our power trend box that the institutions are still accumulating and buying Bitcoin. They are still doing a, a, a buying here at major retail level, and there's an overall buying for the long term. The short term pressure is down, of course, right? But long term pressure is up. So we are going to assume that that 55K is going to provide you a beautiful opportunity. Now, Ethereum. I told you that I felt Ethereum 2800 was a good area. Well, sure enough, it went to 2800. So what's next? I think you need to go with the structure and the trend line and the edge of the calculator. So you do a trend line like this, and that brings you at about 2,000. You have a structure line at 2,300. So we are going to say, because they breach already, that we have a very important 2,300 edge of the calculators, 3,300, sorry, and the 2,300 here. So this is where you do another structure line. And this, this Ethereum becomes not as attractive, but he has also some support around that 2700. So those are the three Ethereum price predictions that I have. You have 2300, 2700, 3300. We break the 3300 channel back and we go make the new high and that new high i told you it's going to be towards that 5500 so i don't think it has the best roi and i still think that you're safer buying gold 2.0 everybody wants some bitcoin the alving the etf it's making but Hong Kong has approved an ETF on if. So I am still in the camp that that 27, 2400, so let's say average 2500 support is very strong on its way to a double around the 5500. Now, we are going to finish with the most important chart for the cryptos. Sorry, I cannot do individual cryptos. I had planned to go over my portfolio, which I'll show you. You can take a picture before I go on the Alcon. This is not my other two portfolio where I have mainly Bitcoin, but total three. 
Remember, total three is the dominance of the altcoin market versus Bitcoin and Ethereum. Total three retraced exactly where I wanted, which is the structure line. And I told you, listen to the feed last week, and you'll say, holy shit, he called the market cap of 600 billion. Well, we need to be very careful of this calculator edge right there. Of This will be a huge drop of $450 billion market cap. Do you see this high right there? And this high right there? We need to be very careful of this $452 billion market cap right there. There's a lot, a lot of support and resistance, plus you have the edge of the calculator. So even if I delete this, you see it comes right on our calculator edges, which are very important area where the market gravitates to. So that would be a huge drop and dump on the altcoins if that happens. Huge dump, right? That means that Bitcoin would go 55, 57, and that would drop. So watch the dominance. In my opinion, the Alcons have a very, very strong support at 400 to $570,000 market cap. And they held 459 this week. So this is what the chart, this is the million dollar chart you want to watch to re-enter your Alcon if you're interested in Alcon. Because until then it's going to be dangerous. And this is why if you look at one of the portfolio here, that you see on this 11,487 from this morning, which is my Alcon, most of the money is in cash. $9,000 is in cash. The rest is Bitcoin, IMX, Dogecoin, Stacks, and that's it. 